Okay. Let's each do our final checks. Be sure we're ready. Do you ever just think how wild it is that you can, like, make a portable sun? <laughs> Says the woman who can see the future and wield dream energy. <laughs> yeah, right. Your gloves, by the way, are amazing. The way they convert your power into physical form. You know, how do they work? Um, I don't know. If Brainy made them. I, honestly, I should probably know more than I do, but it's the one person who had answers is gone. Without my mom, all I have are questions. I'm sorry. I know you lost your mom, too. I didn't mean to... Oh, no, no, no. It's okay, really. I get it. I miss my mom every day, too. Really sucks, doesn't it? Yeah, and it doesn't really get any easier. Especially in light of the family I have left. <sighs> Good thing this is our family now, right? Sometimes... Being dreamer just reminds me of what I've lost. How much I don't know. It's like... Like there's a whole part of yourself you'll never understand. And I can't imagine how hard it must have been losing your mom so young. It was. You know, the only thing I really have left of her is this book of folk tales that she used to read to me. It's not a lot, but it's something to hold on to. Your powers, they connect you to your mother. You can hold on to that. Another power surge. Everyone strap in for turbulence. I think we're safe to turn off the fasten seatbelt sign. Yeah, I think we're stable, but I think the turbulence may have caused a coolant leak. I gotta go see if the hardware needs repairing. kind of alien creature aboard. I locked it in the engine room, but I could do with some backup now. Guys? John? Alex? 